today we're looking at how charities can use social media to connect people to the knowledge of where their money is actually spent to drive more funds. Now, this is the British Heart Foundation, which I think most people would recognise. It's the UK's leading heart charity, which raises funds um, for research into heart and um, circulatory disease. They have a really, really strong social media. They are always posting, as you can see here, and they post lots of different little videos um, and images um, based on people who are raising money for them and various things that they're doing around the UK. Now, what I love about this post in particular is that they interview a professor um, who's working on a life-saving heart healing patch. And I just feel that it's really, really strong because it lets followers or anybody on the page know um, I guess, you know, that what the money that they raise is actually going towards, um, you know, that what they're working on in terms of pioneering um, treatments. Um, and so anybody who's interested in raising funds for the charity can suddenly see how it's going to be um, used. So let's take a little look. So as you can see there, they've kept it really, really simple. That It's very top line. It's just, this is a heart healing patch. Um, it's to help cure the disease um, and you donating can help us do it. So, you know, there's a really, really super simple video. There's a big call to action here at the end. Donate now um, here with the link. And then they've also got exactly the same thing in the um, detail here of the post. So it's just a really good way to raise awareness of them, I guess, what the money is going towards. And there's a very strong call to action in terms of um, what they actually want people to do, which is also um, a, a big win on social media. So yes, it's very, very good. So if I was these guys, I would be looking at um, other ways that I can take this kind of content and look at, right, okay, how can I um, make life easier for myself? How can I make sure that I'm, um, you know, scheduling in all of my content and to make sure that um, I've leave more time, I guess, for engaging, you know, like, so going back to all these lovely people that have responded and making sure that you've got time to actually respond back to them. So the best way of doing that is to go into the maybe platform. Um, and they can go into content and content calendar. Now in there, they'll be able to see all of the content that they've already scheduled in, um, but they can also go in there and they can start adding in posts to make it easier. So they can literally go in here and they can schedule in um, something on Twitter, maybe Facebook or Instagram, um, schedule in their post for the week. So maybe that video, they can literally add that in to go out, say on Sunday or Monday. Um, and then by doing that, it means that they know when it's going out um, and they can start then going back and they can use the rest of the platform to go in and start engaging with their customers. So it just keeps things really, really easy, really, really simple. Um, and it means that they are saving a bit of time and making sure that they do the really important thing, which is engaging. Now, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please click on the little blue button. We love to help.